Okay, we'll start with a stage winner. Uh, this is uh, victory number 13 for Andrea Guardini at the Tour de Lankawi. Uh, but this is a, a very special one, Andrea, is it it? Can you explain uh, how far this win comes from? A lot of emotion today. And yesterday, because uh, after the big crash yesterday, I stay to think uh, that uh, get out of the race, but uh, I don't want uh, this because I know that uh, the conditions are good, the legs are good, and uh, today I start uh, to think uh, at the sprint uh, only at 20 km to go after the climb. Because I haven't uh, a lot of pain in the foot. In the first uh, two hours, it was a little bit difficult uh, because it's the start. But after, uh, it's better. And I wanted uh, the sprint. <laughs> I put my, my guys teammate at uh, 10 15 km to go and uh, Raslan uh, make a good job uh, in the last kilometer for keep me in good position at uh, 500 meter do you have thought you would pull out of the race now I want to stay here because uh, yeah the pain there is but uh, I know that uh, there are a lot of stages uh, for me, and after uh, five stages, I want to stay here for, for try to win uh, another time uh, as soon as possible. This is also the first win for Astana this year. Uh, are you proud that uh, it comes from you? Yeah, it is uh, special because we have uh, a lot of uh, placement, but uh, no winning. No? But now I hope that uh, it's a good start for, for. You're the one who has a lot to say about the stage today. Can you explain uh, being so close on JC? Uh, how come you uh, you broke away and what were your intentions? Was it King of the Mountain? Was it uh, points certification? Was it for for winning the overall of Tour de Lankawi? At first, it was uh, yeah, just for the, the mountains, and then you know we, we played a bit of a game with these guys when we were out there. We went a little bit easier, and you know we tried to we tried to trick them into giving us a, a bit too much time. And yeah, it almost paid off at the end. You know, but, uh, with like 15 k to go, I realised it wasn't going to be possible. So I just uh, yeah, I took it easy. I took all the points I needed to today, so it was, it was a great day for me and the team. I think there's a lot of guys who can take a lot of time up with me tomorrow, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I've, I've been training a lot in the hills this winter and you know, I've lost a little bit of weight compared to last year, so I'll give it a go, but uh, I don't have any uh, any huge expectations for tomorrow. I thought I'd say, because I'm going to be a good for tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to be a good one for tomorrow. Speriamo di arrivarci nei primi, eh, primi dieci della tappa e voglio ottenere ancora la moto. For the middle mountain, which is uh, not the too hard uh, climb. Uh, but uh, tomorrow I'm hoping for a top ten in the stage and I'm also uh, hoping for keeping the yellow jersey. Uh, I have a strong team here with me. I hope uh, the guys will uh, still have some uh, strength for helping me out uh, tomorrow because uh, today they have done uh, a hard work, they have done a nice job uh, until the Spitters teams uh, took over. I asked him who he uh, saw as his major rivals for tomorrow. He said uh, uh, there is uh, Esteban Chavez, another Colombian from uh, Aurica Greenwich, and uh, Isaac Bolivar, who is another Colombian from United Healthcare. He said uh, there are other good climbers in this race, but uh, I don't uh, remember all of them. I just hope that uh, I will be able to hang out and uh, stay. Tomorrow you will defend your jersey in a, in a big mountain. 
do you think you can uh, you're able to keep it? And who do you think are the biggest rivals as the best agents? I think the biggest rival is Elvis. So I will try my best to follow them up on the mountain and do my very best to keep the jersey.